Alright, what's going on dudes and welcome back to Minecraft. This time we'll be going over Dr. Cyano's wonderful wands and wizarding robes mod. Sounds like the name of a shop that would be on Diagon Alley, doesn't it? Welcome to the wizarding world of Harry Potter. This is Hogwarts. If you can't recognize it and it looks like a desert, I'm sorry to inform you, but you might be a muggle. So the mod adds into your game a bunch of different ones. They have different abilities. It's actually sort of similar to another mod we went over a few months back, except I think the ones here are much improved. So let's get started. First off, we have the non-magical one for all you muggles out there. It does nothing, but it looks cool. So this is the crafting recipe. And if you feel like holding a wand and I don't know, just you want to embody the spirit of a wizard, but you're not because you're a muggle, then this wand is for you. Now let's get into the real wizarding wands, shall we? So this is the wand of growth. This is the crafting recipe. All the crafting recipes for the wands that do stuff start with a gold nugget, stick, and an emerald, and then it's just various items on either side of the emerald. So again, this is the wand of growth, and it grows things. It grows things that even bone meal can't usually grow. So, well, you know, that's wheat. So you can grow wheat with it, but you can also grow things like sugar cane, and you can make sugar cane grow really, 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 really tall. So that's pretty cool. And you can also grow cacti. So, you know, pretty nifty. Obviously, you can't do that with bone meal. So it's pretty useful. So next up, we have the wand of harvesting. The wand of harvesting is crafted with the same base, but you put shears on either side of the emerald. And, well, this one's pretty cool, actually. So if we use it on anything that can be harvested, like tree leaves or wheat, it'll just take out a huge chunk all at once. So it just, I don't know, makes your farming go a lot faster. There we go, four swipes, and we're good to go. Also, again, leaves, so you can get saplings much easier. And uh, yeah, pretty nifty, pretty nifty tool. Um, all right, so let's actually throw these two on back so we have inventory space and then we'll move on to the next one. All right, so the next one is the wand of mining. This is the crafting recipe and what it does is it basically instantly destroys any blocks that a stone pickaxe would, uh, would otherwise be able to destroy. So there we go. And again, despite the fact that I'm in creative, um, because I'm using this as a tool, I will actually get the block drops in return. So there we go. Instance mining. And uh, yeah, so that is the wand of mining. Let's move on to the next one, which is the wand of freezing. So as you may be able to guess, the wand of freezing freezes water. This is the crafting recipe. Snowballs, pretty appropriate. And boom, right click it on the water and uh, freezes over. And it makes it easier to walk over. So it's sort of like our, you know, freezer right armor back in Hexit, except uh, you can just right click in front of you and it'll do the trick. So there we go. Toss that on back and uh, clear out our inventory as well. All right, let's move on to the other four wands over here, which uh, have some other effects that don't have to do with actually like, I don't know, harvesting blocks, growing them, freezing them. They do uh, sort of more PVP type things. So this is the Wand of Healing. This is the crafting recipe. And the Wand of Healing, simply when you right click it, tosses out some splash potions of healing. So throw it at your feet if you'd taken damage. And uh, yeah, be good to go. Actually, let's switch into survival, walk into a cactus, because that's always a good idea, you know. <laughs> and throw it at our feet and we're all healed and good to go. So that's the Wand of Healing. Go ahead and toss that back on in the chest. This is the Wand of Ender Step. It's actually the same as a wand that was in the last wand mod we looked at. Um, this is the crafting recipe, and when you right click it, tosses out an Ender Pearl. You know, pretty standard. Um, it's just a regular Ender Pearl, so it's still gonna do the two and a half hearts worth of damage when you, uh, when you use it. Um, but there we go. Pretty simple stuff. All right, now let's move on to uh, the cool ones. So the Wand of Magic Missiles, it actually, it shoots out arrows, interestingly enough, despite the fact that the crafting recipe is swords, but it, uh, it actually rapid fires arrows. So let's switch on back into creative mode so I can fly up here and we'll use it on the poor defenseless pigs. 
that I put in the pen. So right click and hold down and it's gonna start rapid firing arrows. Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. So that's the wand of magic missiles. And just keep shooting arrows all about. I feel bad because there's a baby pig who just got out and he's all stray and he's looking for his parents and I am so sorry. I didn't mean for that to happen. I was just spawning pigs. I happened to click on the pigs that I already spawned with spawn eggs and spawn babies and I'm so sorry that you're now going to be part of my terrible experiment. So that's the wand of magic missiles. This is the wand of fireballs. So again, probably you'd imagine it shoots fireballs. Kaboom. Easy way to get cooked pork, I guess. Um, shoot one more. And if you actually right click and hold, you can sort of rapid fire the, the fireballs. So that's another option for you. All right. Just shoot a few more at the ground. You know, there we go. And I burned the fences down, and now all the pigs are getting out. <laughs> no, I need a few of you left for my final wand demonstration. This is the wand of death. Sounds very comforting, doesn't it? It shoots off wither skulls, so if you want to be the wither, then this is for you. Basically, it's almost exactly like being a wither. So there we go. Um, I'm so sorry, pigs. Again, it's all, it's just for science. Don't run, don't run, accept your destiny. And, oh no, two baby pigs. There, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for your loss, I'm so sorry. <laughs> the one I'll let him I'll let him live he really wanted to live he really wanted to live he was a survivor all right so that was the wand of death again this is the crafting recipe with wither skeleton skills so it takes a little bit longer to actually achieve this one because one more and you'd be ready to fight the wither anyway and uh, once again the wand of fireballs used fire charges so let's get into the last bit here which are the robes and the hats um, I am going to set it back to morning. So the wizarding robes, they provide a little bit less protection than leather armor, but they look cool. And looking cool is what you want to do when you are trying to embody the spirit of Harry Potter. So let's go ahead and get into F5 mode. I look pretty baller, I must say. I kind of look like I'm doing a wizard cosplay for like a Lakers basketball game or something, but nonetheless, I feel that I am pretty decked out in wizard swag. Yes, check out my wizard swagger. All right, <laughs> so those are the wizarding robes. Um, I think the benefit of them is they have a higher uh, enchantability index, whatever the technical term is. So if you throw them in an enchanting table, they will actually have a better chance of getting a good enchantment in return. So if you're looking for, I don't know, respiration, on your helmet, you could throw the the wizard hood, and you'd have you'd probably have a better chance of getting that in return. All right, finally we have our hats. So I don't actually know the crafting recipes for these because they weren't listed on the forum page. Again, I don't know if I made enough of a point about it, but these are the crafting recipes for the uh, um, wizard shoes, pants, chest plate, and helmet. Obviously, they have different names because they're robes, but you get the idea. So the top hat is uh, totally aesthetic as far as I can tell. It doesn't have an actual functionality other than making you look super fly. Because <laughs> that's the only functionality you ever need. Here we go. So I look pretty fancy, I must say, um, in my wizarding hat. Then we also have the witch's hat and the wizard's hat. Again, crafting recipes weren't listed for them. Um, and I tried doing a bunch of different combinations of wool and stuff and I, I couldn't figure it out myself. Um, but perhaps the mod creator will add in the recipes on the forum page eventually. Anyway, the benefit of these is if you, so let's actually give ourselves, I don't know, a potion. Um, let's give ourselves like speed, a potion of uh, swiftness. So I am going to go ahead and switch on and do survival here. And I'm going to drink the potion of swiftness, which is supposed to be a minute and 30 seconds. And what should happen is that while I'm wearing the witch's hat, it'll actually keep the potion going indefinitely until I remove it. So here we go, let's run around and stuff. Whee! Here we go! And, I mean, technically if we wait a minute and a half, it should just renew the potion effect and we'll be good to go. So the same goes for the wizard's hat as well. Um, you put it on and it should uh, keep whatever your potion effect is. So that's that. 
All right, dudes. Well, hope you've enjoyed the mod. If you want more info about it, you can find the link in the description. Other than that, if you've enjoyed, a rating would be much appreciated. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.